on the number line. So let's see what exactly is the number line and then see how a uh, given value can be represented on the number line. So So it is number line representation which is very important and hence we will see how the number line representation is done for certain values. Say for example, I have three belonging to integers and I want to represent this on the number line. So firstly we know that the integers are the numbers which start from negative side so on and so forth. I know that the integers is starting from the negative side 0 1 2 3 and so on and so forth till infinity so firstly i'll represent all these values of z on the number line and then identify the particular value 3 on the number line and that is how the representation is done say for example i take the number line always horizontally in this form and always the left end and the right end are denoted with arrows because this leads to plus infinity and this leads to minus infinity without any end on the left and any end on the right. And the exactly middle value is 0 as we all know. And then on the right I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And on the negative side of the integers I have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 and so on and so forth. So this is the number line rep representation for Z <coughs> where I wanted to represent the value 3 belonging to Z on the number line. So in this case, here I identify 3. So this is where I just circle up. So when I circle this, it is identified that this value is lying at this particular point on the number line. Say I wanted to represent minus 3 or not minus 3. Let me take another value say minus 4 belonging to z on the number line. So thus this I identify this here where I darken. Say I wanted to identify 0 0.5 which is a rational number because 0 0.5 is nothing but 1 by 2 which is in the form of p by q with p and q being integers and q not equal to 0. So 0 0.5 lies always between 1 and 2 between 0 and 1 sorry. So in this case I identify exactly in between of 0 and 1 where 0 0.5 lies. So this is where 0 0.5 lies. So in this way I can identify any value belonging to the real numbers on the number line and that is what is called the number line representation and it is very important because sometimes we need to know in which region or which part of the region the, the particular value lies in between what different values of the range. So in this case I identify that 0 0.5 lies between 0 and 1 exactly in the middle. In this case I identify that minus 4 lies on the negative side of 0 where here somewhere and 3 is identified here. So like that respectively we can identify any different number of values using the number line representation. Now representing the values on the number line is a very easy task but when it comes to rational numbers there's extra attention and proper care taken when we consider rational numbers on the number line. So for example I wanted to represent five over six on the number line. So this is my question. So 5 over 6 is a value which is not fixed but it is in an approximate decimal representation. Therefore ident identifying this exactly is not an easy task. So what we do is we divide the interval in favor of 5 by 6 and then represent it on the number line. So let's see how we can do that. Now. I identify that 5 by 6 is a value which is less than 1 because numerator is less than denominator. So 5 by 6 will always be a value less than 1 and it will always be greater than 0. So 5 by 6 is a value which lies between 0 and 1. So I divide the interval between 0 and 1 in favor of 5 by 6 
and then it will be easy then for representing on the number line now for example let's see how so 5 by 6 we have identified is a value between 0 and 1 therefore I divide the number line in such a way I start with 0 of course on the left side I have all negative values then next is 1 by 6 next is 2 by 6 3 by 6 4 by 6 5 by 6 and 6 by 6 which is nothing but 1 so the values which lie between 0 and 1 are equally divided in the form of fractions of 1 sixth 1 by 6 2 by 6 3 by 6 4 by 6 5 by 6 and 6 by 6 so in this case we can easily identify 5 by 6 to lie somewhere here so this is where the 5 by 6 which is a rational number lies between 0 and 1 so different rational numbers will have different properties which we are going to divide accordingly with suitable intervals depending on the value what is given in the problem now because it's 5 by 6 i've taken between 0 and 1 as 1 by 6 2 by 6 3 by 6 4 by 6 5 by 6 and 6 by 6 if same way if i had 7 by 6 then what do i do if i have said 2 by 7 this is a value less than 1 so in this case i divide the interval as 0 1 by 7 2 by 7 3 by 7 6 by 7 and 7 by 7 and there the value is identified to be here so this is how the number line representation is done favoring the rational number so it is very important to take care of what fractions you are considering between 0 and 1 when you take a value say particularly 5 by 6 or 2 by 7 so in this case let me take a value a rational number which is greater than 1 and see how it can be represented on the number line say I have 5 by 4 greater than 1 so this can be taken in the mixed fraction form as 1 1 by 4 when taken in the mixed fraction form gives me 1 1 over 4 which indirectly can be written as 1 plus 1 over 4 so this is how indirectly I represent on the number line thus 5 by 4 being represented on the number line so in this case let me take a horizontal line <coughs> where this is 0 this is a value which lies between 1 and 2 so let me start with 1 and the next value being 1 plus 1 by 4 and the next being 1 plus 2 by 4 and the next being consecutively 1 plus 3 by 4 and 1 plus 4 by 4 which is the next integer 2 so the value which lies between 1 and 2 is divided into sub intervals as 1 by 4 2 by 4 3 by 4 and 4 by 4 now in this case 1 plus 1 by 4 or 5 by 4 is identified here at this point so this is how indirectly I represent 5 by 4 on the number line so this is how it is subdivided equally now let's see another example where how a negative number can be represented on the number line a negative rational number so when I understand a negative rational number it is understood on the left of 0 when I understand the positive rational number it is something which you represent on the right of 0 so therefore when we proceed for negative we start from left of 0 and when we do for positive rational numbers representing on the number line we start from right of the 0 so but all the properties being the same <coughs> now when I take minus 3 over 4 which I wanted to represent on the number line I clearly identify that it is a negative sign which I bring out but it is 3 by 4 which is nothing but inside the brackets so let's see how this can be represented on the number line I take 0 here because I want all the values on the left of 0 being with a negative number so in this case minus 1 by 4 minus 2 over 4 minus 3 over 4 minus 4 over 4 which is minus 1 so this is a value which lies between minus 1 and 0 the least being minus 1 and the highest being 0 so it is in this range of minus 1 and 0 where negative 3 over 5 over 4 lies in on the number line so I clearly identify that negative 3 over 4 is clearly at this junction of and this is where I identify 
the value. So we find that the difference here is for positive value, we go on the right of zero here, we go on the left of zero. So let's see the last case where how I can represent a value which is greater than one. I mean a value after the sign being greater than one. So let me take negative five over four where the numerator is less than great, uh, denominator here, a numerator is greater than the denominator. So yes, so in this case, I can just represent this on the number line. But before doing that, I just convert the phi over 4 into the mixed fraction, as we already done in the previous case. Phi over 4 in the mixed fraction can be written as 1, 1 over 4, which indirectly is nothing but minus of 1 plus 1 over 4 in the mixed fraction form. So this is the value which ind indirectly represent on the number line with the only difference being that the values go on the left of 0 in this case here they go on the right of 0. So let's represent this on the number line. Here is the 0 and then I represent I take minus 1 then I take minus 1 plus 1 by 4 minus 1 plus 2 by 4 minus 1 plus 3 by 4 and minus 1 plus 4 by 4 <coughs> so this inside the bracket which is nothing but minus 2. So this value lies between minus 1 and minus 2 where I clearly identify that minus of 1 plus 4 by 1 plus 1 by 4 lies somewhere here. So indirectly negative 5 over 4 lies in this region. So this is where I identify the value negative 5 over 4. So when I have the decimal values, there are two types of decimal values which we identify in mathematics. One is the terminating and the other is the non terminating decimal. So what is terminating decimal? It is the decimal which has its decimal part has finite number of decimals. The decimal part of the value which you consider here has finite number of decimals then that decimal is called a terminating decimal. Let's see with an example but let's also take non-terminating. Non-terminating is the contradictory definition of what we have taken here. So decimal part in this case has infinite number of decimals. So let's see here with an example 